can't teach a work ethic. You just have to have it in you. Always got to find room for improvement. It's Harrison. Marvin Harrison, touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. waltzes in. He is going to split a double team just like his pops used to do. I think he sees the potential that I have. I'm chasing in his footsteps. Court on third down. He's never satisfied. That's just how he's wired. Marvin Harrison Jr. Touchdown, Ohio State. It's super special when you pair his mindset along with his physical attributes. Accord and Harrison teammates in high school, but they connect as Buckeyes for the first time. Me and Kyle go way back. A lot of people obviously know what we did. We won three state championships there together. Broke a ton of city records, state records. And you could tell you especially. He understood the game at a level that I don't think anybody was at. Just physically, the way he ran his routes, how sound he was, his attention to detail, everything. As a kid, when you see success, you explain to him, this is why you're good. This is why this happened, because you worked at it. I learned a lot from him. Obviously, he's the best receiver to ever play. Retirement was easy for one reason. I have two sons, Marvin and Jet. Um, to be able to, to come home and be your coach, be your father, and be your friend, there's, there's, no, there's no other feeling in the world that I'd rather do than to come home to you guys. I just try to do the best I can to still be the best version of myself, but knowing that he's the ultimate goal. You know, he said anytime he steps on the football field, People are going to compare him to his dad, and whether he likes it or not, it's just the reality of it. You know, he has a name to live up to, and I think his dad is his biggest critic. His dad's the first one to be like, you know, you could have done this on this ride, your release here and there. Um, so his dad definitely holds him to that high standard. He's always going to be a coach because some things that I see that no one else will, just because I've played the position. Last year, I think throughout the whole course of the year, I can see that he was focused and determined to be great. The motivation of being Marvin Harrison Jr., my dad being you know, who he is and knowing I'm chasing him, this is definitely one of those motivations just because I've seen the work that he put in. I kind of know what it takes to reach the level of success he has. When I played, I don't care what I did last year. I don't care what I did last week. I always try to tell him, last year's last year. Are you going to be the best receiver in college football this year? That should be your goal. It's Harrison. Nobody around. 22.2 miles an hour, the fastest player on a football field, college or pro this season. You want to make your name for yourself. You don't want to just be walking around, OK, you're just a Hall of Famer son, just playing football. I didn't play the game to be a Hall of Famer. I played the game to be competitive, to be the best player I can be. I told him going in to be the best football player that you can possibly be. It doesn't matter what you did last year, what are you gonna do now? Harrison, open, that is caught, touchdown! Marvin Harrison Jr. for the second time today! Coming off of last year, they know exactly who he is, so he's gonna have to deal with some double teams and teams game planning for him, so different challenge. I think the motivation is doing it twice. I think anybody can have one pretty good year. Or there's always more that you can do. There's never a point where you should be satisfied and keep going and keep working. Always got to find room for improvement. And I think the most important thing, the easiest thing to do is eliminate distractions, focus. We know who's the best receiver in the college football. So that's just, that was easy. Who is the best receiver in college football? We know. I don't want to say names, but we know. I think we all know. Hands down.